Hey, everybody. This is Miss Stacy from the Youth Services Department of the Fayetteville Public Library, and this is Preschool Storytime for ages three to five. Let's start with our announcements. You may remember from other weeks, but we still have our Thousand Books Before Kindergarten program going on. Um, that's a constant program we have. And it's a program you sign up at, for at the preschool desk, and you can win prizes for reading books that you're probably reading anyway. So ask about that if you haven't gone to kindergarten yet. It's a really fun program. Uh, the other announcement I have is our Super Saturday program this Saturday at 10 a.m. is a special story time with Judge Joseph Wood, and that's gonna be in the Walker Community Room. And it does require registration, so you can find the link to sign up for that on our website. Let's sing our hello song. We wave and sing hello. We wave and sing hello. With our friends at story time, we wave and sing hello. We clap and sing hello. We clap and sing hello. With our friends at story time, we clap and sing hello. We wink and sing hello. We wink and sing hello. With our friends at story time, we wink and sing hello. Today, our story time is about squirrels. You know, the other day I was looking out of my back window and the snow was coming down and I saw in the trees all these squirrels jumping around. I think they were getting into their nuts. Do you know what a squirrel is? A squirrel is this agile, which means it moves really well, tree-dwelling rodent with a bushy tail, and it usually eats nuts and seeds. You've probably seen a squirrel. And if you wanted to sign squirrel in American Sign Language, we start out by getting our hands in the right position by saying peace. Then once we get our peace signs up, we curve our fingers around and we tap them together. Squirrel. That's a fun one to do, isn't it? I like to sign squirrel in American Sign Language. Let's read our first story. Grab it from back here. This is a really fun story, and it's called Girl vs. Squirrel, written by Haley Barrett, illustrated by Renee Adriani. Okay. Look at her, she's got peanuts and different things, and there's a squirrel chasing after her. There's peanuts in the grass. Ooh, look at the pretty pictures in this one. I like this story a lot. I like to look at all the little details. This would be a good one for you to borrow and to look over all the details. Look, there's eyes in that hole in the tree. What's in there? Let's find out. Pearl built three bird feeders. One, two, three. One looked like a house, one looked like a tube, and one looked like a teacup perched on top of a tall pole. It looked like a teacup because it was a teacup. Pearl was particularly proud of it. Do you have any bird feeders at home? I do, I love to feed the birds. Pearl filled the house bird feeder with sweat. She filled the tube bird feeder with seeds. She filled the teacup with peanuts. Lots of birds love peanuts. Pearl took the lens caps off her binoculars and waited. She wanted to see some birds, didn't she? What's happening? Cardinals and flickers swooped in for sweat. Finches and chickadees sailed in for seeds. But not a single bird could settle on the teacup because something else wanted those peanuts. What do you think it is? <gasps> what is it? Hey, protested Pearl, bird feeders are for birds. But the squirrel didn't flinch. Instead, it flicked its tail and gobbled Pearl's peanuts, each and every one, before dashing to a hole in the old oak tree. Look, there it is again with eyes. You see the eyes? Drat that squirrel, grumbled Pearl. It may be brave, but it's no match for me. Girl versus squirrel is on. <laughs> With her hockey stick and some duct tape, Pearl extended the teacup's pole. 
There, she said, that's tall enough to stop any squirrel in its tracks. She watched breathless with anticipated success, but was soon disappointed. Drat, drat, that speedy squirrel, she groused. I'll make the pole taller. Look at the squirrel. It just went up. It wasn't bothered. Now the teacup towered, but that didn't deter the squirrel. It scurried up the mop, scrabbled up the hockey stick, and shinnied straight up the pole. Oh no, Pearl groaned. Brave, speedy, and determined too. The squirrel stared at Pearl and seized an especially plump peanut. But before it could take a nibble, the pole began to teeter and totter until what's going to happen? Thud. It toppled to the ground. The teacup popped off the pole, the handle snapped off the teacup, and the startled squirrel skedaddled to the tip-top twig of the old oak tree. Drat, 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 you squirrel, growled Pearl. You're a bird feeder crushing, teacup smashing, peanut poaching pest. <laughs> look at this crash, oh my. Ooh, look, the teacup bounced here and went through the air here. Here's the handle. Oh goodness, what a mess. Wait a minute, let's go back. What did I just see? We have our squirrel here, but I still see eyes in the hole. That's interesting. Hmm, okay, next page. Pearl poked through grass and peanuts to find the teacup's handle and muttered, but you will never, ever, ever be a match for me. While Pearl glued her teacup, she pondered and plotted. Step by step, she pulled together a plan to put that squirrel to the test. Oh gosh, look, she's getting in the garage. She rummaged through her box of useful odds and ends. Then Pearl clambered and climbed, lifted and leveled, shifted and stretched, twisted and tied. As a network of obstacles emerged, each more squirrel challenging than the last, Pearl began to enjoy herself. Whew, she panted. This is as much fun as building bird feeders. When everything was ready, Pearl tumbled more peanuts into the teacup. Bold, speedy, and determined won't be enough, she pronounced. This time, teacup triumph will require nerves of squirrely steel. Look at that, it's, it looks like it's hanging from the air. She's putting peanuts in, oh my goodness. Training her binoculars on the old oak tree, Pearl scanned up branch by branch until there. I've done my best to best you, squirrel, shouted Pearl. Now let's see what you can do. Ready, set. But before she could shout go, the squirrel was gone. Head first, scuttling down the tree and leap, scamper, spin, 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 swing, whirl, 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 scramble, jump, clutch, clamber, crunch. It through that whole obstacle course. And then it crunched into a peanut. Pearl was dazzled. Then she was puzzled. One, two, three babies, murmured Pearl. According to squirrel experts, the adult female tends the kids. That's what they call baby squirrels. So that must mean the quick and nimble ninja squirrel was a mother. Pearl's can-do, will-do, just did squirrel was quite a girl. I proclaim your victory, cheered Pearl, and I salute you, fearless, fluffy sister. She'll teach them everything she knows, Pearl said, how to climb and balance, how to think and plan. She'll develop their attention span. And then, right then, Pearl knew she wanted to help the squirrel family, and she knew how to do it. Look at this. Pearl built bird feeders. She filled the house feeders with sweat. She filled the tube feeders with seeds. She filled the teacups with peanuts. Lots and lots of peanuts.
quick. And then there's some fun squirrely facts on the back page. That's a fun book, isn't it? Oh, I like that one. Okay, since I'm up anyway, why don't we sing a little song? And this one requires that we move around. Whew, I'm ready to get tired. How about you? You gonna join me? Stand up. We're gonna sing a song about squirrels. Oh, the frisky little squirrel, he gathers nuts and seeds. He hides them for the winter months so he'll have all he needs. Oh, up, up, up he goes and down, down, down he comes. He runs around, <laughs> goes up and down. His work is never done. <laughs> That's a silly one, you wanna do it one more time? Okay. Oh, the frisky little squirrel, he gathers nuts and seeds. He hides them for the winter months so he'll have all he needs. Oh, up, up, up he goes, and down, down, down he comes. He runs around, goes up and down. <laughs> His work is never done. <laughs> oh, goodness, what a silly one. All right. Let's read our next story. This is a fun one too. It's called Bear and Squirrel Are Friends. Yes, really, by Deb Paludi. It's true that bear was much bigger than squirrel and that a bear will sometimes eat a squirrel for dinner. But Bear and Squirrel were friends. They had a lot in common. Look, Squirrel's giving Bear a blueberry, Bear's giving Squirrel a, an acorn. They liked to gather acorns and blueberries. Bear was very strong. He would shake the trees until nuts rained down on the forest floor. Squirrel was very fast. He zipped from nut to nut, collecting them for supper. Bear helped Squirrel make a cozy nest of leaves and twigs. <laughs> Look inside his little squirrel house, there's like a little lamp <laughs> and a picture of Bear. It's so cute. Squirrel helped Bear tidy up his den. Look, he's got a lava lamp and a picture of Squirrel. That's so cute. And they both like to play games. What game do you think they're playing? It looks like hide and seek. The other squirrels asked, why are you hanging around with a bear? He'll eat you up for a midnight snack. Squirrel said, don't be silly, bear's my friend. The other bear said, squirrel would make a good midnight snack. Bear said, that's ridiculous, squirrel is my friend. Squirrel and Bear ignored the other animals' remarks and went off to play Guess That Song. Oh, I know this one, said Squirrel. Look, Bear's singing, he's got a microphone and a really long cord. Oh, he's dreaming about strawberries. And when Bear settled in for a long winter nap, Squirrel waited patiently for his friend to wake up. Look, Squirrel's knitting while he waits, while she waits and waited. Look, the scarf's getting caught longer. And now Bear's dreaming about sandwiches. Oh, now Bear's dreaming about pizza. I think he might be hungry. And waited. Look how long the scarf is. Until spring finally arrived, Bear began to stir. It's good to see you, said Squirrel. It's good to see you too, said Bear. You look different, said Squirrel. You look different too, said Bear. You look delicious, said Bear. Why, thank you, Bear, said Squirrel. I mean, you look like you would taste delicious, said Bear. <laughs> Can you believe that? And look, Bear's looking at Squirrel. He looks like a cupcake. Oh my goodness. They looked at each other for a long time. <laughs> Look, Bear's licking his lips. I think Squirrel's like, what? A gulp. <laughs> Poor Squirrel. Uh-oh. Sniff, sniff. 
I'm sorry, Squirrel. I can't help myself, said Bear. Excuse me, <laughs> said Squirrel. And there Squirrel goes. Stop, Bear! Squirrel, it's your friend! There Bear goes. What's going to happen? Nah, nom, too munch, crunch. Mm. But Bear couldn't stop. I'm sorry, Squirrel. I didn't save you any. It's okay, Bear. I can make more, said Squirrel. Bear ate all the blueberry pancakes that Squirrel made until not a morsel was left. He ate every last berry. He even licked the plate clean. But he did not eat Squirrel. What? You didn't think I'd eat squirrel, did you? Friends don't eat friends. More pancakes, Bear? <laughs> oh, that's a cute one. There they go together, holding hands. They're friends. Of course they're not going to eat each other. I don't eat my friends. Do you? You eat your friends? I hope not. <sighs> well, what do we say squirrels do eat, though? What do squirrels eat? Berries and nuts. I think they really like acorns. And actually, I remember now, I had an acorn under this cloth. You wanna see what an acorn looks like? You probably already know. Let's see. <gasps> what? I don't see an acorn anywhere. Where did that acorn go? Do you think one of those squirrels ate that acorn or maybe is hiding it? Let's find out. Let's start here. Green squirrel, green squirrel, tell me true. The acorn's missing. Was it you? Let's see. Hmm. I guess the green squirrel's innocent. All right. Who should we try next? What about orange? I think orange looks guilty. Orange squirrel, orange squirrel, tell me true. The acorn's missing. Was it you? Let's find out. Ah, I guess orange squirrel's innocent too. All right, we're gonna find that acorn. Wonder where, where should we check next? Red? Okay. Red squirrel, red squirrel, tell me true. The acorn's missing. Was it you? <gasps> okay. Red squirrel's innocent too. Who took that acorn? Which one should we try next, blue or yellow? Yellow, okay. Yellow squirrel, yellow squirrel. Tell me true, the acorn's missing. Was it you? Let's see. <laughs> okay. It wasn't yellow squirrel either, that's funny. Well, I guess we're out of options this time. Blue squirrel, blue squirrel, tell me true. The acorn is missing, was it you? Gosh, we better find it this time. It is blue squirrel! Look, we found the acorn. I told you there was one there. Okay, blue squirrel, that's not your acorn. That silly little squirrel. Let's read our last story. This one's a fun one because it has real photos. And it, with the photos, it has a poem. And this book, the photographs are by somebody named called Murray Head, and it's based on a poem by Alexina B. White with new verses by Susan Laurie. Look at that picture. That's what a real squirrel looks like. Frisky brisky. <laughs> that squirrel looks frisky brisky. Hippity hop. <laughs> Up he goes. To the treetop. Whirly twirly round and round. Look at that picture. It's like blurry because the squirrel's going so fast. Down he scampers to the ground. I like this picture because you can see how fluffy their tails are. 
furly curly, what a tail, tall as a feather, broad as a sail, giggly wriggly, let's have fun, leap and soar from shade to sun. Oh, hawk a hunting, can't catch me. Look at those hawks trying to get those squirrels. Snickery trickery behind the tree. Hide and peek. Look, he's covering his face. What do you see? Slyly wily. I see a little eye right there. One, two, three. <laughs> Snappity crackety, what a treat. Break the shell, ready to eat. Mm, num num, I like peanuts too. Scrambly brambly, no time to rest, making a home in a leafy nest. Huddly cuddly, snuggle in tight. See you tomorrow, good night. Good night, <laughs> and they back up in their hole. That's a cute one, huh? I like that one too. All right, friends, so now it's time for us to talk about our craft. And so you see we have this little guy here. He's a cute little squirrel with his big long tail. And I made that by using this template that I got from Simple Mom Project. And that's a website, they have free craft projects. And I had to sign up for their mailing list and then they sent me this template. And they have all kinds of little critters and things. But um, the way it works is you download the template and then you can color the squirrel and then cut out all the pieces and glue or tape it together to make your very own squirrel. And I'm gonna put out some of these at the preschool desk. So hopefully you can make it into the library and pick up one of these and do the craft. It'll be a lot of fun. Okay. Well, that was a fun story time. I'm so glad that you joined me. Let's sing our goodbye song. We wave and sing goodbye. We wave and sing goodbye. With our friends at story time, we wave and sing goodbye. We clap and sing goodbye. We clap and sing goodbye. With our friends at story time, we clap and sing goodbye. We wink and sing goodbye. We wink and sing goodbye. With our friends at story time, we wink and sing goodbye. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.